told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. You're alive! But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. Artyom, you should talk to the colonel first, places. then come back here. I see. A moment. Hi, Artyom. Found the occupying forces yet? Grab them by their tails. Thank you, Artyom. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Artyom. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all locked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Great job saving the Martium. Katya here has provided us with vital information. Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. By the way, Alyosha, my friend, that Katya lady Anna brought in? She's a nurse, so maybe you should have a look at your wounds, huh? I've got to fix this one, and I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. His help is required if we are to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to Ms. decide Ms. what Moral. to do about the fanatics A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. 
Who can have known that fanatics <laughs> were in control now? And they say it's a place you can so Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you should go talk to him now. Now, he did seem to want something. Did you come with your husband? There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Oh, it must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh, we call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons and stuff. Nature just went strange. Yeah, the planet's been trashed. No wonder Silantius had such a hold over everyone here, with people seeing things like that every day. Poor fools. They live in darkness and die just like that, ridden with disease. I'm a trained nurse, but Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. He only cares about feeding their bodies to that fish once they die. He says it's their sure way into heaven. I tried doing something to help them, but no, it's a sin. And then he just locked us up in that tower. And somehow a stupid flashlight made it worse. Uncle Crest gave me the flashlight, but Salantus got mad and smashed it. He did, and then he cursed Crest. So the man had to hide in the port. It's a basement layer, so Silentius can't get him there. He also wanted to make mommy marry him, but she didn't want to. He's old and nasty. Ah. Yes, the gospel of the damn fish says nothing about marriage. I was lucky to protect my daughter. That crazy creep, he's just so... Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably garrisoned the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. Actually, I don't think a single man from NATO would ever be here.
Ah! <laughs> 